Well, I must say this has been going great. I really think you have a future here at Business Incorporated. Well, I really do see myself working here until I die. But we just have one more section here, almost a formality, basically nothing. You'll ace it, I'm sure. Just a quick question and answer. Okay. Here we go. Question one. Your boss calls you into his office and says your work on that sales presentation was complete, utter, total garbage. What do you do? Well, I suppose I try to have a conversation with them and let them know how I feel. Question two. You're frustrated about your boss and projecting your negative emotions. You start a fight with your wife at home. You sleep on the couch. How do you get back into her good graces? Oh, um, well. Sorry, do you need me to repeat the question? No, I heard you. I just, I suppose I try to let her know what I'm going through at work. Great answer. Question three. Your wife, who you've been like 80% faithful to, has brought her yoga instructor, hypothetically named Chaz here, into your bed and you find them both in the midst of a rather inappropriate variation on Downward Dog. How do you react? Wow, look, I don't think that these questions... Question four. After the strapping young stud leaves, you call her a spunk-thirsty harlot, and she starts crying. Cheap mascara running down her cheeks. Your wife kicks you out of the house and says she doesn't love you anymore. Why doesn't she love you anymore? Are you even listening to Question five. Hypothetically, you now live in a hypothetical strip mall motel on top of a hypothetical pawn shop. Every hypothetical night, you sit in your car outside Chaz, the yoga instructor's house, and watch him go to bed. Tonight will be different. Tonight will be different. Do you go in through the window or the door? Don't tell me that. Question six. Are you more of a team player or a lone wolf? Oh, um... Well, as in Aries, I've always seen myself as more of a natural leader. Question seven. Dragging Chaz's body to the trunk of your car, his neighbor sees you. She reaches for her cell phone. She leaves you no choice. Your hands are tied. How couldn't you turn this night into a double homicide? Question eight. Try as hard as you may. The blood won't come out from under your nails. It won't come out. Is it inappropriate to go into work the next day? Dear God. Question nine. You're now at work. The guilt consumes you. You're interviewing a particularly mediocre job candidate. Oh, yeah. You accidentally spill the beans, so to speak. As an applicant, you have access to their name and mailing address. You know they have family that they value. Do you let them live? Yes, yes, you let them live. They won't tell a soul. Question 10. Is the applicant lying? No, not lying. I won't tell anyone. I swear to God, I won't tell anyone. Please don't hurt me or my family. Your secret's safe with me. Very well. I'm sorry, but generally, Business Co. is looking for applicants that would report a murder. I wish you the best in your job search going forward.